Luciana McCauley. I'm the artistic director of the Green Room and the director of the show that you're about to see. Um, welcome to Royal Pains, a live action Disney parody, Green Room's first show of the semester. Yes. 
the surprise party. First we scream to surprise you, then you scream in surprise, then we scream because we're happy to see you, then you scream because you're happy to see us. It's a great way to make friends and strengthen social bonds. <laughs> Screaming. Oh, yeah, it was like, why? Uh, what she's trying to say is we want to thank you for a job well done, and this is our way of doing it. Oh, no, it's okay. Seriously, girl, are you really going to pass up a chance to eat cake after a month of nothing but still water and army rations? Are you really going to pass up my opportunity to eat cake after a month of nothing but still water and army rations? <laughs> oh, so the little extra bit of biscuit I feed you every night wasn't good enough for you. All I'm saying is it's doing nothing to stop my hankering for a big old slice of sweet, sweet victory cake right now. <laughs> Don't be so modest, Mulan. No one needs a party. But goddamn, do you deserve one? Tonight, we celebrate you.
Aurora. Oh, I'd love to marry but I think I see Gaston in the car over there, and I haven't yet had a chance to congratulate them on their wedding. Would you excuse us? Where do you start fire? If we don't get out of here soon, I'm going to rip this wig off. Can't Meg find a better wig supplier? Guys, let's just figure out where the master sword is and get out. The resources of the resistance are not endless, like the bottom of this house is comprised of the chocolate beans of my homeland, and now the person is being remade. Resources are Right. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just on edge being in any territory and everything. I'm paranoid someone's going to recognize me. Merida. Yeah. <laughs> Aurora. And that is I. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just needed to make sure my facial recognition is not even calibrated. Okay. <laughs> See, of course they recognized you, steady hand in Merida of the Celtic bow, destroyer of antiquated marriage customs and protector of the wholesome mother daughter relationships. Just Merida would be fine. Okay, just Merida would be fine. Okay, look. Aurora is known to always be sleepy. She hardly ever talks because it takes too much energy. How about you practice that version? That sounds like a thoughtful suggestion, my dear friend Follower of the buildings, custodian of the unthinkable fire This This isn't going to work. Go, go sleep on the couch. Oh, oh, my apologies, fellow party goer. My eyes were not quick enough to register your presence in the. Oh, no, I'm the sorry one. I. Oh, no, no, in, in a pretty way. Please don't worry, you look absolutely perfect. Oh, I couldn't, not in the face of the first incarnation of an earth and divinity I've met in all my years on this planet. High compliments from the bell of the ball. What is your name? Aurora. Her name's Aurora. <clears throat> Aurora? What a lovely name from the Latin word for dawn. Those who think you're dawn, as Homer once described it. I had a friend named Aurora, actually. Uh, I haven't seen her in a long time. Her Like that! Princesses, loves, heroes, and their 
your sidekick's betrayal is at their core. No! Yes, but I trust is scarce cause. We've all seen the same tricks. We've all been through hell and back. So listen to, to us. us. Listen to our stories. All that we have faced with grit. These attentions don't ask questions. You don't. When he told me he thinks I have too much body hair. Lastly, though my father's estates a leap from the fall, still winning. Friends soon became jealous of my roommates. Now they're dead, and I'm with Jasmine. Joke is all on them. Look who is in charge now. Thanks to you, we must end. successful. 
Is, uh, so right, Rapunzel, though, was a, uh, a casualty in the struggle. Oh, very good. It's not a second casualty. Wait, so you did tell my men to kill Rapunzel? Of course we did. Silly girl. What did you think we wanted of her? Temporary exile? Poor oh, sweet, innocent Mulan. Do you mean you haven't known this whole time? Where did you think Hades went? Or Pocahontas? Or Winnie the Pooh? <laughs> Temporary exile? Look, I don't know. Don't talk to me like that. I'm not a child. I'm a general. Listen, Milan. You don't want your movie to get remade like poor Tiana, do you? To face down an entire army again? To be spurned and mocked as a woman? To go through the Great War all over again? No, no, no. This is how we have preserved our movies over the years. Sacrificing others to keep the monsters at corporate busy, to keep their hands off our movies. Does it always work? No. But no one can rule without taking a few risks. And no one who survived this time keeps their hands clean. Not even Rapunzel and her little husband. Look, Luma, you haven't been through a remake yet, so I don't expect you to understand the importance of what we do. When corporate turns their greedy little eyes our way, we do everything we can to throw a wrench in their plans. Another character disappears from the lexicon and poof, suddenly that's the perfect movie to remake and we live to reign another day. You've been with us this far and look where it's gotten you. You're one of the most revered people in the kingdom. Why stop now? Besides, your career is built on war. So many people have already died at your command. What's one more? Or a dozen more. It'll have to be more than a dozen. Let's just start. <laughs> no, 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 I won't. Oh, you have. And you will. Don't think of it as murder. Think of it as letting someone go. Their life's going in a different direction now. Their body's part of a permanent outface. Oh, he does, he's done nothing wrong. Nothing? Please move on. This fight is futile. This is why we would not let you all this honor bullshit that you swear by just proves to us that you are a fool. Why would he not lie? To you now, really. The general, the one who killed his wife. Don't be disloyal. Obey your royals. Don't. No! No! <laughs> oh, so that's how it is.
that so hard to believe? Look, I'll tell you what. You go back a ways, you know, before I was a llama, and this will all make sense. How are you still talking? It's been three hours. Oh, you threw off my groove. I had a good story going there. And I'll have you know it's very rude to interrupt a good story. Let me start over. Hear uh, ye, hear ye. For we, the totally real and 100% true royal guards, are here to ensure that you do not escape. Yes, not escape, because we are Miguel and Tulio. Tulio and Miguel, mighty and powerful guards. <laughs> My emperor, need a lift? You two? I have been languishing here for four months. I hope you don't expect your salary for the months you were rescuing me. Hey, it's not exactly easy to break in here, and we already took the money. <laughs> you know, I'm not exactly the place to argue. Now that Kronk's gone to that big spinach puff in the sky. <laughs> you guys are the only ones I can trust. How sweet to break me out, I meant. Do we have to break him out? We can always just shut the door again and take the rest of the treasury. He's promised us a slice of Disney's riches if we help him get out. A slice of Disney's riches must be unfathomable for a DreamWorks character. <laughs> well, you've got your own patience with a street rat. Now, how do we get out of this? All right. In the dead of night, Miguel and I scout for a clear path out. When the coast is clear, we stop you in the Pickle barrel? Why pickle barrel? For the pickles, Cusco, keep up. Emperor Cusco. Pardon me, homo, when you've been a god. Shh. So, with you and the pickles in hand, we roll you to the gate, scale the 100 foot wall around the castle, steal a cart, and ride away like there's no manana. All right, first, great plan. Uh, a second, I missed the part about how we escaped the gate. The what? The gate. The gate. The gate surrounded by one of the wall. <coughs> To the gates! So, we're a pair of fugitives and an enemy emperor in a cursed dungeon with no real plan. Apparently. Oh, Tulio, did you ever imagine it would end like this? The llama's a surprise. <laughs> it's been 19 years. Let it go. Well, look on the bright side. At least it can be. <gasps> Excuse me? Were you about to say worse? No, no. No, absolutely not. I revised that whole thing. <laughs> Flynn, have you already managed to escape? Oh. <laughs> hey, who are you? Uh, well, you, you see, uh... <laughs> <laughs> they were, uh, figments of your imagination? What? You know what? I don't care. Good on them for escaping and getting away from the princesses. Now, I have an escaping prisoner right in front of me. How were you planning on getting past the guards? Well, I wasn't, because I'm not escaping. I'd be a law-abiding thing, person, citizen. <laughs> right, and as a law-abiding thing, person, citizen, I've come to free you from your wrongful imprisonment. Not that I'm not on board with that plan, but why the sudden change of heart? No reason! Justice is just incredibly swift in this fine kingdom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm just free to go? Yeah. Of course. Cool. <laughs> oh, wait, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Just uh, the front entrance where you could be, you know, seen. <laughs> Which is, of course, normal procedure for newly released prisoners? Yes, yes. Because everything is fine. Yes, everything's completely fine and absolutely normal. No, all of them are my friends or your know, wives we've out here. So that's why you should follow me out of the cell and through this completely I'm normal time. What? No, what? Why? 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 Here. Wait for the castle to settle down a bit, then we'll break back in to get Rapunzel. What? 
would have been easier if you just sprung her too in the first place, but I'm sure you had your reasons. So. Look, do you hear anything I say back there in the dungeon? What do you mean? About your wife? What about my wife? You said they got her too, so she's back there in the adjacent cell, just like you said. When I, I didn't know what the princesses were planning when they sent me to siege your castle and then... Orders are given to my men, without my knowledge, to, to, to assassinate Rapunzel. And, and when they debate, the mission was successful. <sighs> that, that's not possible! This, this is fucking Disney, for God's sake! This is where they literally <laughs> shut villains off of cliffs to avoid making main characters into murderers! It's not! I, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't believe it myself when I first heard it, but <clears throat> it's our lives aren't like our movies. Not anymore. Not when they're sharp. They were treaties, armistices, agreements. They shouldn't have been able to lay a hand on our kingdom, let alone Rapunzel. But I don't know, Blake. I don't know why either. Yes, guess, guess Tyrus just don't feel the need to follow the rules. No. No, the princesses are up to something. This is all <laughs> a part of their plan. Escape with their general. Get me emotional so I gave both information about Rapunzel to you so you can use it against her. No, Flynn. You're lying! Flynn! She always put these flowers in her hair. Every morning, I, I couldn't tell you what they're called. She, she reminds me every time, but I never remember because I, I know she'll just. So which way are we going? We should start moving now while there's still light. No, no we can take a few more minutes to break. You, you need time to process. I don't want to process. I want to move. So let's move. No, Flynn, I really don't think this is hell now. We don't have supplies to make a shelter, but I've heard tell of an encampment of resistance out in these woods. Resistance? No, Flynn, you really should talk now, about it. Now, supposedly they take all refugees, but for some reason they don't accept us or we can't find them. I suppose we can build some kind of rudimentary shelter out of branches, <laughs> that with some mud and leaves. No, I'm, I'm here for you. I, I, God damn it, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I want to move, and I want to keep moving until I can't move anymore, and I collapse from exhaustion so I don't have to stay up all night thinking about it. I want to be so tired I don't even dream. Then I want to wake up in the morning and find a million problems to solve that aren't this one and solve everyone. Because even though this is the only thing that matters, it's the only thing I can't do anything about. Flynn. Why don't you understand? I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to feel it. It's all too much right now. And talking about it isn't going to fix anything. So can we please, please just keep moving. Is that really what's best? <clears throat> Pass what's best. This is all I can do now. Which direction was this resistance that, you, that you're speaking of? I have no idea. Well, this is a great start, Flynn! Well, okay. I've heard of rumors just whispered here and there. They didn't give much in the way of direction. So the best bet we have is to just stumble through the woods, hope we find some signs of life. The farther we are from the castle, the better. Sounds good to me. Dangerous. <laughs> Sounds fun. I'm glad you think so. I'm taking you to the headquarters of Resistance. You'll be safe there. Uh, yes, what are you calling yourselves now? The Resistance Against Princesses Tyrannically Oppressive Reign. Are a raptor? And we got some new recruits. <laughs> Raptors, assemble! Starfire, Teen Titans heroine, and 
Head of Recruitment and Public Engagement, the Princess Bride's Buttercup, medical expert and working chemist, Fiona, star of Shrek, ballistic specialist and mechanics development, Zelda of the eponymous Legend of Zelda, chief strategist and general of resistance forces. I'm Meg. <laughs> but you, you're all princesses? princesses? Not Disney. I take offense to that. Just because I'm not a canon princess. God. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just, why do you all care? The rest of you, I mean. Meg, I'm sure you're upset because they took down Hercules' kingdom. I don't want to talk about it. I'm sorry, it's just, what did the princesses ever do to you? It's not like they'd have an interest in you because you must say it one more time, little goblin knocker. Oh, is that a term of endearment for an initiate into a rebel order? Welcome, young goblin knocker. May we knock many <laughs> goblins on our adventures together. Okay. Initiate? Is that what I am now, then? Look, it doesn't matter if we're Disney or not. The fact is that they are monopolizing the attention our universe receives, leaving us to fade away into obscurity. And it's the right thing to do. And we've almost got them. I can feel it. We've heard about you, Flynn, and everything that's happened to you, and we're here to rescue you. And if you're willing, adopt you into our resistance. Well, I think I speak for both myself and Mulan when I say we would be honored to join your ranks if you would have us. Mulan? No, we're rescuing you from Mulan, taking her as our political prisoner. Prisoner? What for? What do you mean, what for? She's the princess's right-hand person. <laughs> Destruction follows her wherever she goes. You, of all people, should know, considering she kidnapped you, and that's the reason you're in this goddamn forest to begin with. Kidnapped me? No, no, she was trying to save me, really. We were fleeing to safety. I mean, I suppose the only reason I needed rescuing is that she kidnapped me in the first place, but she didn't know what she was doing, really. Really, she was trying to save me. Can you listen to yourself? Mulan does only what's in the best interest of the princesses. No, I don't believe that. I can't believe that. She risked her life to save mine, okay? That's why she's running away. That's why she can't go home. You have to believe me. You believe me, don't you? Look, even if she is being kind to you, it's probably just a trap playing into the princess's evil No, I, I'm not. I <laughs> swear it on the honor of my cows. <laughs> Excuse me? Well, you see, cows are a very sophisticated and noble species do not take transgressions against their honor, like me. <laughs> so, in the, the proper precautions must be made in the event that the, the truths that they hold inalienable are subverted. <laughs> so, what you gotta do is give a sacrifice to a stone altar. <laughs> <laughs> Alright? She risked everything when I had nothing. Only a kind, brave soul would do something like that. How come you don't sympathize with me, <laughs> Look at that sweet, sleeping face. <laughs> sure, you might get a black eye with Mulan, but her heart's in the right place. There's no reason why Mulan saved me today. Without her, I so would have died. If that doesn't change your name, votes and decays, here it comes, one smoldering guy. Fine. No one's brave as Mulan, and can save like Mulan. Did I mention who's brave and who saved me, Mulan? <laughs> <laughs> the fact that she's Disney, being rivals would make sense. I know helping her is a bit tricky, but have I told you the weird thing I have for brunettes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the break like Mulan. Come on, wake up, Mulan. You guys ain't getting me without taking Mulan. She's the general plan of the princess army. She can't be free that Mulan. All right, Blondie, I get the point. Mulan is the worst, and she'll just disappoint. But none can fight like Mulan. Soldiers might like Mulan. Must the princesses tell all their plans to Mulan? We interrogate her as a hostage. That's one option, I guess, that you got. <laughs> well, I hope that the girls into you Wait, give every last choice you have some kind of thought who could condemn Mulan or make friends with Mulan. As a general, nobody has skills like Mulan. But princesses could use her as a warrior, so why trust Mulan? When 
Lucy rescued me and was hopelessly trapped by the wall that surrounded the gate. I bet my life on Mulan's goodness as fact. Almost sure that that's not a mistake. Do 
la, me think of la, where should I send my general fa? Bippity bippity boppity boo, which country shall these princesses choose? Are you scribe with your godmother's wand? When did you trade in your tiara for a witch hat? Oh, hon, my movie is witchcraft to its bones. We just call it fairy magic for the masses. Check it. Glass slipper, 100% quartz crystal. Great for <laughs> cleansing the chakras from stress after all the murdering. Not on the map! Cindy, these are limited edition handing from the finest cartographers in the world. Can we just please pick this kingdom and go to battle, right? Conquering and pillaging is fun and all, but no one else is fun. Going to bed with the wife. But seriously, it's almost midnight. <laughs> Fuck, I gotta go to bed. Why? Are you gonna turn into a pumpkin? Who told you? <laughs> <laughs> How about we ask Mulan what she would recommend? Done and done. Well, where is she? She's usually here to advise us. Yeah, where is she, Mushu? Well, see, uh, the whole. Uh
There's somebody out there. Buttercup will find them. Looks like I don't know what she's doing. I guess he could be right. What do we do about Flynn? I just wish he'd let me know what's happening inside his head. What? I said, what I meant was the only way he could let us know is through telepathy. Gosh, Meg, I don't have the answer to everything. <laughs> it's not like the princesses know the resistance is here anyway. I mean, what are the odds? Oh, shit! Something to tell us? Yes, actually there is. Extremely classified princess military intel. Shit, she really has gone rogue. If you have something to say, then say it. Well, will you chill out a bit if I do? Now look here, General I Bob. just was a joke. I was a joke. Tell me. I've already need you treason as well. But before I left, there was talk about some sort of ambush on this forest, on the off chance that there was going to be rebels out here. Oh, behold, look at you guys. You're right here where they expect you. I don't know when or from where, but you guys are sitting ducks out here. Buttercup needs to get out of there now before it's too late. I can go get her if you guys stay here, I promise. Hey, Meg, you might not want to get too close to the prisoner. Why don't you let me take care of her for you? When the fuck did you get here? She walked up right after the lawn said extremely fast by the princess military intel. It sounded interesting, and I was right. Please, <laughs> please. The general is trying to manipulate us. Why, I wonder, do you want us to stay here? We're so close to the castle. It would be a piece of cake for you to scurry back to your little handlers like the glorified guard dog you are and tell them exactly where we are. We are sitting ducks, just like you said. God, I'm telling the truth! Let me make one thing clear. The only reason you are here alive is because Flynn trusts you. I don't. I've seen the way you princesses manipulate a vibe get performed. So don't talk. Don't hold us back. And don't for a second think you have any authority to tell me what's best for my team. Oh, hey. Something going on? Nothing. We were just leaving. Ah, you could have. Ah! You could have prepped this maker up! So you're packing up already? Good thing we lit the fireworks already. The what? The fireworks. The fireworks for Cusco? The fireworks made specifically to signal Cusco about our location. <laughs> did it occur to you that it could alert others to our location as well? Wait, exactly how big are these? What the shit? We have to go now! This whole thing would be so much easier if we had the fucking masters who are already a lot less running! Ambush? Yeah, we got that! No! <laughs> So just, no. We're not leaving you. You saved my life, and I'm not one to live in, in... 
I, I've made that mistake before. I can help. I, I, I think you've done enough. Meg, please. Just, just go. Just run already. You already still trust me. I can buy the guys long enough to get an opening. If you can escape. Wait. I think I have a way out. This fight club I missed. Smash Bros? Hey, why do you do that? <laughs> well, to be honest, it's not really that exclusive anymore. But if anybody Disney's getting in, it's that kid from Kingdom Hearts first. I am bleeding out! Please get to the escaping part! <laughs> right. I, I, I'm so sorry. Well, you see, I won an umbrella off my friend Peach and about, and I'm pretty sure it lets us fly. Haven't tried it yet, but it should work. Okay, well, where is it? Fuck, I think I left it back at camp. Go put it now, Zelda. You keep the guards off us. Blaine, keep an eye on him. Yo, Lizard, while you're out there, can you get me a red flower for the horns? I'm pretty sure that cures arrows. I'm so sorry, man. I'll make this right, I swear. Let's go. Right, back to the whole flying thing. I think I might be afraid of heights. Listen, I've ridden a dragon above the clouds before. You get used to it quickly, I swear. A dragon sounds a lot safer than an umbrella. Wait a second, your dragon is big enough to ride? Let <laughs> 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 well, you buy us some time. Let's get on this thing. Oh, here goes. Oh, Open the umbrella. Flip up Cinderella. I sure hope this thing can fly. trusting me. I wouldn't have trusted myself either. I respect that. <laughs> no, no, it's okay, seriously. We don't have the time. We don't have the supplies to worry about something like this. I just save the bandages for the real heroes. Let me get on a bit thick there. No, I'm being serious. I can just take off my shirt and use it as a cloth. I'll be fine. That is not how medicine works. We have plenty of bandages and you are not taking off your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> you say so. But does this mean we can trust her entirely? I mean, this could still be a ploy to manipulate us. You're still on this bullshit? Look, Mulan saved my life. She saved Ben's life. She saved all of our lives. That's still not happening. Yeah, I guess I should thank you for that. I don't think I'll let you do it twice. I still need to do. Don't push it. But Zelda, is this alliance with Mulan perhaps not one we should consider? Now that some serendipitous force has carried us out of harm's way. Well, magic umbrella, which you Mulan, <laughs> part of our journey to justice for our fallen comrades, has she not proven herself worthy of our trust? Well, look, I saved Megara for a reason. I believe in this resistance. Look, you don't have to like me. You barely have to trust me. But I've seen the way, I've seen the way you guys fight out there. You're all trained soldiers, but you're useless together. Without teamwork, you guys are gonna get nowhere. I can help. Guys, Mulan's right. We need to work together as a unit. Especially if we're serious about infiltrating the princess's kingdom, we can't just go in there guns blazing without a solid plan. And to have a solid plan, we need to be a solid team first. Wait, you're planning to infiltrate the castle? Yeah. With the amount of organization you guys have now? Yeah. That's... <laughs> Fuck, that might as well be a suicide mission! Well, it's not as if we have a better option. What could possibly be more important? Oh, Zelda's fancy sword thing. It is not just a fancy sword thing. It is an extremely important magical artifact in the mythology of my land. <laughs> Long ago, there existed a prosperous kingdom where a golden power lay hidden. But then, one day, a man of great evil came and he took that power for himself. With its strength and his command, spread darkness across the kingdom. But then, one day, when all hope was lost and the hour of doom seemed at hand, a young boy, clothed all in green, appeared as if from nowhere, <laughs> wielding the blade of evil's bane It is eerily similar to this man of great evils whom the legend speaks of. 
Yeah, it's great and all, but where is this heroic and ancient sword supposed to be? That's the problem. The princesses took it. <laughs> Bitches slayed my hero of time to get it. Don't seem too cut up about that. Oh, you know, he's fine. He responds infinitely. One of the perks of being the main heroes of a video game franchise, am I right? <laughs> You're sure that this sword's gonna be able to vanquish them? Well, why else would Snow White have taken it? Look, I don't know. Snow White likes stabby things. That could be something. <laughs> I'm sir. All right, then you need to let me help you. It's the only way you guys are gonna make it out of this mission alive, please. But why are you the person to help us? Because she's a general. Running a seamless army is kind of her whole job. Yeah, being a lethal one-woman <laughs> weapon capable of destroying an entire resistance from within is also her whole job. <laughs> just like how protecting the innocent and defending the just is her whole job. Kind of like how fucking up enemy generals is my whole job. Kind of like how charming, incredibly strong, and beautiful rebel leaders with my brilliant diplomacy and tactical reasoning Sort of my whole job. Since it went. Since I met you. I, we, what, 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 what? Sis. Okay, so if Mulan has the skills to get us where we need to be, I say we give her a second chance. Yeah, I mean, what's the worst that could happen? If she's actually evil, I think we'll notice. Just like how you noticed that the Dread Pirate Roberts was actually your boyfriend the whole time. He was wearing a mask. Mask to carry this. It was my rousing musical number, wasn't it? Diplomacy has always been one of my many skills. You have all of the diplomatic reasoning of a bull in a china shop. Look, I'm so glad. No, you guys won't regret this, all right? <sighs> we need to start our training now if we want to make a real move anytime soon. <coughs> yes, please beat us with whips into a proper formation. <laughs> <laughs> she needs whip us into shape, but the point still stands. Okay. <laughs> all right, we need to get started then.
your groom? <laughs> I am the groom. <laughs> Who's going to escape? How? Well, after those two didn't save me. You didn't save him? He literally escaped before us. Yeah, where's Miguel and Julia? Uh, they're wandering in the woods somewhere. On their way, I think. I didn't feel particularly obliged to help them. We should send people to look for them. Fiona, Zelda, you go. And I can do some food in adoration after my trying prison sentence. On it. I'll make sure she doesn't overinflate his head. I want food. <laughs> <laughs>
Wait, but then we all have to Or die. make me general. <laughs> I'm flexible. Look, Cusco, I welcome anyone who's willing to lay everything on the line to defeat the princess. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't say I was willing to put everything on the line, per se. <laughs> You can stay here under the protection of the resistance and help out with camp matters, but that's it. All right, fine. I see how it is. I guess I'll just have to make my own super, super elite fighting force to take down the princesses. Literally, you and one army. <laughs> that army. I'm not an army. I'm a people. No, <laughs> you two together, Miguel and Tulio. You're an army. My army! But weren't we coming all this way just so we could join the resistance? I don't want to hear any back talk, soldier! Let's move out! But we're hungry and they're stew. Don't worry, I already ate enough for all three of us. <laughs> Not how that works. Fine, one quick cup of stew, and then we start an army! Hot, two, three, four, hot, two, three, four, hot, two, three, four! So we're just gonna let them eat our stew, leave, and form a rival army? <laughs> Why? It's the revolution's duty to help anyone in need, even if they choose to desert us afterward. Besides, you've seen those three idiots. There is no way they could possibly organize themselves into an impediment or a nuisance in our immediate future. <laughs> take out the guards, and without the Master Sword, we can't take out the princesses. But there's only five of them, and there are seven of us. I'm pretty sure we can take them if we have to. No, no, you, you have not seen the things I've seen. You do not know the things that I know. They are ruthless. I once saw Snow White summon a murder crow just by singing. I understand how that can be ominous, but... And then grab one by the throat and eat it raw. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see what's so wrong about that. into the castle. But we need to establish a perimeter just in case the princesses come back early. So, Starfire, Buttercup, and Fiona, you guys are on guard duty. But we need you to send a signal just in case they come back early. So, I need you to summon a raven to the lowest window on the right tower and have it knock on the window three times. That will signal for us to get out. I'm not really the summon precious little animals with my voice kind of princess. 
Actually, animals have been pretty good at attacking me for my whole life. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, Fiona, do you think you could do something about that? <coughs> Whenever I try to summon birds, they explode. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you exact such horrors on these defenseless winged creatures? Okay, great. Does no one else have anything they can send to the window? Maybe a rodent of unusual size? Rodent of unusual size? <laughs> Don't think they exist. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
about nothing. I don't think that would hurt. I mean, I don't think that would help. Starfire, do you have anything you could draw? Oh, Zelda, what about that huge fucking sword? <laughs> oh, right. I forgot this thing literally weighs a solid 500 pounds. That's improbable. Inconceivable. But we can't just get rid of it. That was part of the whole mission. If we give it up now, it's all we're not. Look, it's us or the sword, and honestly, I think we're a little more useful in the grand scheme of things. They're coming, Zelda!
used to not knowing what to do. I've read every book, studied every subject. I thought I was prepared for everything, and then I met you. Our ways may be small-minded, but small also means safe. I want to do something for you, but I cannot betray my friends and the life we've built. Can you meet me at 5 p.m. in the castle? Love, <laughs> from down. <laughs> Right. 
we have a revolution to organize, and now we have a rescue mission on top of this. But how are we supposed <coughs> to win a revolution when we don't have a master sword? It's the only thing that can defeat an evil as ancient and eldritch as the princesses. But I don't know. The only thing I know is that <coughs> Meg's execution is going to be today at noon. No, no. we have to be there. Master sword or not. <coughs> find uh, someone, uh, some, anyway, to save her. We might be able to break her out, but to take on the whole castle? I don't see many options. Actually, you have one case of our city. Who do you think the soldiers would fight with? The general who they rode into battle with? Or the princesses that stayed up in their castle while the soldiers bled for them? Honestly, whoever pays them. Of course! <laughs> They're soldiers, they can join our cause. Yeah, you know what? I can go out and recruit some of the commoners. Flynn, you know them well enough, why don't you come with me? Sure. Oh, and uh, we'll need a third. I can do it, I'm free. Starfire, you want to come with me? <laughs> yeah. As long as my absence can be excused after five, there's someone I have to meet. Wait, but who exactly? Just someone I'm hoping to get on our side before the rebellion. She would be a great asset. Well then, by all means, go ahead. Well, if you need All right, let's move! I have the soldiers! Do it! Oh. <laughs> what are Buttercup and I to do? Oh, Zelda, we'll pass our training on to the new recruits. You're right, somebody has to teach the farmers how to use their pitchforks on more than just hay. And so, from the mist, step <laughs> two mysterious and devilishly handsome, but mostly mysterious <laughs> announcements <laughs> accepting their divine given quest to elucidate the progress of our young heroes. But mostly to liven up the tedious task Kuzco gave us to spy on them. That too. <laughs> so first, we come upon General <laughs> Fa Mulan, returning to her soldiers at last. The soldiers have missed her dearly, falling into disarray in her absence. The only group that will guarantee you live in the minds of movie watchers forever? What is this? <laughs> Why is there glitter glue all over it? Where the fuck is it? Oh! Nowhere, just committing some light treason. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, more importantly, where is everybody? They all left to join Cusco's team. What's shaking my future son, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize this was your territory. I didn't see your name written anywhere. That's why you have to name everything after yourself. Like me. <laughs> it's literally Princess's Army under the instruction of Bobula! <laughs> you have to put your name first or it doesn't count. <laughs> Hey, I can still hear you, and I don't enjoy your tone. <laughs> Not my tone is that if you don't like it, you can go fuck off out of there and never have to hear it again. Hmm, I have a better idea. For me. I'll just move you. What? No, about soldiers? You can't just do that. Hey, let's go! Warlords, you'll put us out of work. Oh, 
have to return back to our families. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I could ask you to loot the castle and you'd never have to pay. No, no, you'd never have to work a day in your life anymore. I know they keep some really cool stuff up there in their treasure vaults. Oh, today I have an original copy of Walt Disney's Comics and Stories number one. I need an original for my collection. It's hard as hell to find originals from 1940 around here. Uh, <laughs> oh, I don't really think they do have those. Yes, they definitely do have those, which is why you all should follow me and storm the castle right now. Huzzah! <laughs> And so, General Fa Mua recruited her army with promises of riches untold to those who aren't named Disney. <laughs> Meanwhile, the kind-hearted Fiona and Starfire were joined by the noble and devilishly handsome Flynn Rider to charm the common people into joining the cause of justice. <laughs> but little did they know, Emperor Cusco had already recruited many of them. And when we say Cusco, we mean Miguel and me, while Cusco cuddled with the toy model of the water park he wants to build for himself. <laughs> Why are there only 2.5 commoners around here? <laughs> well, I'm not quite sure if that old man over there in the corner staring at the wall counts as part of this group bonding activity called heckling. <laughs> Interesting interpretation of heckling, but okay. <laughs> Perhaps she is seeking romance. <laughs> Why would I consider this rash course of action? I should leave. Star. Oh, is, is that you? This was a mistake. I should not have come here. But you did come, and that has to mean something. You must feel something. I cannot feel anything for a tyrant. I do not have the capacity to tolerate tyranny. You are my enemy, and I cannot allow myself to have feelings for such a person. Do you think I'm a true tyrant? What if I did? But then you wouldn't have come. You act a true tyrant, but deep down, what I see in your eyes from the moment I met you, I saw a conflict, a glimmer of compassion, a flicker of genuine empathy. These aren't the eyes of someone who's a tyrant. These are the eyes of someone conflicted, someone for whom there is hope. They're the eyes of someone I could love. They are the eyes of someone who is sorry for the things she has to do, but she has no choice but to do them. Is tyranny really what you have to do? Is there not another way? I see no other way. No, I am the other way. But they're my friends. I can't just betray them in the life we built. But you can't. You could have me. But that's not enough, Starfire. The hope of love isn't enough. You can't just ask someone you love to throw everything they have in their life away. I can if I'm asking them to save themselves. But I don't need saving. I need to just forget about this mess for a little while. I don't want to think about who's right and who's wrong. And I don't want to think about resistance and tyranny. I just want to be. Can't we just, even for a moment, just be Belle and Starfire? No, I cannot allow you and your allies to subjugate the masses and abuse the power entrusted to you. You understand why we do this, don't you, Starfire? Our remakes are too painful you think to- I do not understand your reasons? Well, I started in comics. They never stop running. <laughs> <laughs> and then they gave us a TV show. And those were the best years of my life. I found love and friendship. Good for you. They remade the show, Belle. <laughs> it's so much worse. <laughs> Starting even. <laughs> Nothing can justify what you have done, but I understand. I can help you. And you understand why I can't go 
won't go through another remake. And you've made your decision. Star, don't I... call me that. You can turn your back on your murderous ways at any time, and I will be here to help you return to the path of light. But until then, you, like the wastelands of Tamara, are dead to me. Super neat, 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 neat. Um, yeah, not way too emotional for a comedy or anything. Um, let's, uh, let's meander over to uh, Hazel and the Princess Bride. A fine set of warriors we've trained up here. Buttercup, I fear I may have been too harsh on Mulan. It's hard work she does teaching these guys how to fight and everything. Oh, I know. That one over there tried to bite me. <laughs> oh, yes, it was very queer. But I see myself in these commoners. I was but a farmer once, too. <laughs> Most of my ancestors lived and died as the crown princess of Hyrule. I carry in me the divine blood of the goddess Helia. My ancestors were her human manifestations. Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Do you think we should teach them how to use trebuchets? Zelda, <coughs> we don't have trebuchets. But would it not be wise to prepare for everything? Is this about Starfire's comic from earlier? Zelda, you don't have to worry about being wise, we're all just kind of winging it here. As if I would let anything that idiotic alien said about my intelligence get to me. It's not like I've been misguided. This whole revolution, it's not like I've almost gotten my whole team killed numerous times because of my own pride. It's not hey, like- Hey, hey, maybe a song would cheer you up. <laughs> yes, if Mulan taught us anything, it's that you can't train without a song, but Buttercup, as skilled as I am in combat, I don't know if I'm ready to lead a song. Oh, no worries. We'll all sing it together. Troops? This is it. We're about to see the violence inherent in the system. We're about to be repressed. <laughs> I say we sing a training song. Does anyone know any good ones? Training song. Payment. 
no gold. Come on, Miguel, don't you know we have to tell Cusco about the value of cash? <laughs> <laughs> do to get some good conversation around here. I've had better talks with people in the underworld, and all they do is scream. A lot. I can scream if you would like. I'm very good at that. <laughs> no, but... Oh my god, what is that thing? That thing in the corner, it's eyes. Look at its eyes. They should be there hanging off its body like that. <laughs> if the princesses hear you screaming, they're going to think I'm trying to escape. So I'd appreciate if you didn't do that. I'm sorry, but please don't worry. The princess has never come to my stream anymore. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> Only if you think about it. Can <laughs> <laughs> you just not think about it? That doesn't sound very healthy. And that's coming from a girl whose entire character arc was contingent on denial. <laughs> I am the epitome of health. Perfect blood pressure, above average lung capacity, and I still have all three of my vital organs. Wait, you mean? And it's not as if I don't think about it. Sometimes I think about it. Just sometimes. Sometimes it's too hard to think about? No, it's more like I physically can't think about it. What do you mean? You are a prisoner, and I am a prince. And princes do not talk with prisoners, or peasants, or sometimes other aristocrats because they can be a bit clean. <laughs> or sometimes their fathers, when they borrow the family ship to take it out on the open sea for some high sea hijinks, and then they get caught up in a huge storm, and then they nearly drown and wake up on the beach with strange images of wretched fish women flashing through their heads, and then their father grounds them because they are the direct result of thousands of others drowning, but mostly we don't talk to prisoners. <laughs> so if you're not supposed to be talking to a prisoner, why are you down here guarding one? Shouldn't you be upstairs with your royal highnesses plotting or something? I don't plot isn't part of my daily routine. But get up, get dressed, eat breakfast, smile. Smile with Ariel at public event. Eat lunch, wait for Ariel. Smile with Ariel at public event. Eat dinner, take Ariel to social event. Smile with Ariel at social event. Say goodnight to Ariel while smiling, guard prisoners for the rest of the night. Repeat, what else am I supposed to do? Go to bed with my wife and wake up in the morning and realize how beautiful she looks while she's sleeping? That's not productive. Is a good <laughs> so do princesses not sleep or something? Nope. It's all in hypnosis. See this baby? It delivers a daily dose of hypnosis equivalent to the stimulus effect of 50 cups of coffee. Well, geez, Eric, have you ever thought it's all that hypnosis that's stopping you from thinking? I've never thought of that. <laughs> Fuck me and my secretly empathetic nature and compulsion to do right by good people that's thinly veiled by a cool veneer of tough girl attitude I developed as a defense mechanism. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Eric, I was planning on spending the day trying to devise a way out of here, but I don't think I can until I help you first. I don't need help. So you're fine with this? You're telling me that you're happy with the way things are, the way your life is? Ariel is happy. I am. I'm not asking about Ariel. I'm asking about you. If she is happy. I am happy. <laughs> did you think that, or did she tell you that? I think what she tells me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you believe what she tells you? Yes. Do you feel what she tells you? about this. 
this necklace, it's, it's cursed, so I can't take it off. If I try it, it burns at my fingers. But other people, other people can take it off. Ariel has to sometimes to reset me. I've never thought about it before, but I guess I've never thought about a lot of things. But I was wondering, would you take it off for me? Is that what you want? Yes, I think so. screaming earlier, and I figured it was just you again, but I thought I'd check to be sure. Haha, <laughs> yep, that was me. What a coincidence. <laughs> it's literally always you, Eric. <laughs> I am the coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see you have everything under control here, so I'm gonna go to bed. I knew there was something off. So what's the plan? We've come a long way, but we're still the underdogs here. Do you think these chumps are prepared to risk everything they've got? <coughs> the reality of our predicament scares them away. Does it matter? Megara's execution is within the hour. But are we the kind of people to lie to our supporters? Will we only repeat the history of this kingdom should we succeed? No, we are people of action. Lies do not become us. <laughs> I'm not going to sugarcoat this. We are in a pretty dire situation. We are going up against the five women who have had complete control of this kingdom for as long as we can remember. They can take your homes, your families. They can remake your movies. They can take your very lives. But they can't take away your hope by, surviv by surviving under their reign thus far. You have proven you have unflinching bravery and skill in the face of adversity. And you have proven that you have the chance to govern yourselves. Whether skyward bound, adrift in time, or steeped <laughs> in the glowing embers of twilight. <laughs> the people's hearts cannot be held under tyranny any longer. <coughs> How can we call ourselves heroes when we let this go on, when our children will inherit the kingdom that we leave behind? just as we pray for your protection. We also pray for your support as we grasp the roots of evil in this kingdom and that we unite as one people and one heart. So, are you all ready for the chance to finally breathe free? We've got a few hours to spare, why not? You have my sword and- All right, let's go to the exit! <laughs> We're too slow. The resistance getting ready for battle. We have to strike now. I was eavesdropping too, Tony. Oh, yeah. I suppose I should give a rousing speech as well. Ooh, I'll provide some dramatic background music. Yeah, <laughs> this is my moment. I won't have anyone stealing my uh, spotlight. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, we've um, 
conned our way this far. We're, uh, gonna keep doing it. We're the New World Wonder Team, and we're gonna win me a castle even if it kills you. Us. Now let's storm the Disney Palace like we own the place, because damn it, we're about to. And if they think that makes it stop us, they have another thing coming. Because we're gonna go in there, because I am just it. Hey, come on, man. You're really throwing off my groove. It's just, we need an actual plan. I said, we're gonna storm the place. Didn't you listen? Maybe a safer, more fleshed out plan? <laughs> Why can't you guys ever just listen to me? <laughs>
here, are they, any of your words of any power right now? We do still have an army. Oh, they do still have an army. And what do we have? A couple of peasants. My name is Eugene Fitzherbert. <laughs> <laughs> you killed my wife. <laughs> Prepare to die. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, that is a criminal offense. Yeah, maybe we should get the police in here after all. Anyway, Miguel, Tulio, my good old pals. We laugh together. You cry together. <laughs> Cry makes you ugly, and I refuse to be ugly. <laughs> we fought together while I rode on your back. What I'm saying is, you're my good friends, so I forgive you. It's all water under the bridge, pals. <laughs> is that cake? Ooh, I'm gonna go get me some cake. <laughs> that went much easier than expected. As you can see, it's been a tumultuous years. We became gods. <laughs> We made friends, we lost friends. We lost gold, but we did find something more important than gold. More gold? No, our true talent. Right, right, well, it turns out to be convincing gods, all you need to do is scream with authority a whole bunch, and we got real good at it. So, since we nailed our stints as mysterious announcers, we figured we'd take it to the next level. So, do you guys want to get interviewed? Uh, sure. Excellent. Fiona! I'm a hero! Rawr! Look at me! 